Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to the FYP coordinator Dr. Azira Binti Halil, my supervisor Dr. Nur Atira Binti Muhammad Taib and you who is watching this video. Today, I am going to present to you what I call the thesis proposal presentation. So, without further ado, let's start with my first slide. As you can see here, my name is Anas Akasha bin Abdul Patas. My matrix number is 1107276 and my supervisor is Dr. Nur Atirah binti Muhammad Tai. For my final year project, I will conduct a project called the Ardu Electrochromic Film for Home Safety Purpose. So, the topic is Ardu Electrochromic Film for Home Safety Purpose. What is Ardu? Ardu is Arduino. Electrochromic Film is a film which is used for home safety purpose. I will explain the details later. So, let's continue with the overview of my project. For the overview of my project, I will start with the background of my project containing the scope and significance of my project. Next is the problem statement where I state all the problems in real life that led me to the third chapter, which is the objectives of my project. After that is the literature review chapter, which I will explain all the influences that I want to investigate from literatures and scholars. Then, the methodology of the project is where I will show all the materials and methods that I will use to conduct this project. The sixth chapter, the expected results, will cover all the results that are expected to be gained in my project. The next chapter is the work planning, where it contains the Gantt chart and the milestone of this project. So, I've explained the overview of my thesis proposal presentation. So, let's start with the first topic of my proposal which is the background of my project. I will explain briefly about three subtopics, which are smart materials, electrochromic film, and the glass industry. So what are smart materials? Smart materials sense and react to environmental changes such as mechanical, chemical, electrical, or magnetic signals. They consist of structures that give information about their environment to monitoring device crucial in engineering, optics, and medical technology. Electrochromic are one of the properties of smart materials. So what are electrochromic materials? Electrochromic materials change the optical properties when a voltage is applied across it. They are reversible. Simply to say, when there is electric, the material changes. They are made from polymer dispersed liquid crystal which are nano-sized materials. In 2014, a reversible electrochemical mirror was developed by South Korean scientists that is possible to be applied in smart windows. These pictures show the transition of the electrochromic mirror from a transparent state to a reflective state. It sounds interesting, right? So let me show you a real video of an electrochromic film changing its properties from a transparent state into an opaque state. So now we're done with the video, so let's continue. The next subtopic is the glass industry. When we talk about mirrors, we will automatically talk about glass. So glass is one of the famous and used materials in the world. Ho Sai Wu, chairman of Malaysia Glass Association, said that there is a 3 billion turnover for glass manufacturing and processing. Meanwhile, Gan Chi Xiong, chairman of Singapore Glass Association, said that countries invest 30 billion US dollars in the construction environment. Here are some of the uses of glass in our daily life. The uses of glass ranges from breaking glass, glass spectacles, to greenhouses, houses, buildings, and skyscrapers. Now we're done with the background of my project. As we know, every answer needs a question. Every project needs a problem. So what are the problems that my project is going to solve? I will explain it in the problem statement. Here are the problems that I found that led me to the development of my project. Firstly, global warming increases the amount of ultraviolet light entering the atmosphere. Also, greenhouse effect increases the temperature of the earth. As a result, excessive exposure to ultraviolet radiation causes health problems such as skin cancer, sunburn, accelerated skin aging, and eye cataracts. Also, exposure to sunlight increases the temperature of the house. In houses, normal glass is not efficient in keeping privacy and safety of people. Also, normal glass need curtains which increase the construction cost of buildings for architects. From all those problems, I found three 
objectives that I need to accomplish after creating my projects. What are those objectives? Let's find out. From the problem statements that I stated just now, there are three main objectives that I want to achieve in the development of my project. Firstly, I want to develop an Arduino-based system powered by a solar source. Secondly, I want to develop an electrochromic film device that is controlled by Arduino. And my last objective is I want to evaluate the efficiency of the Arduino electrochromic film device. So those are the three objectives that I want to accomplish after creating my project. So let's continue with the scope of my project. For the scope of my study, I will be focusing mainly on the development of the electrochromic film attached with glass in houses. The electrochromic film will change its state from a transparent state to an opaque state and vice versa. The size of the electrochromic film that I will be using is the size of an A4 paper, which is 21cm to 27cm. Also, the conductivity of the electrochromic film will be measured using different, different number of voltages. Lastly, the Arduino that I will be using will be connected to a PIR sensor and UV sensor using solar panel as a power source. So, we are done with the scope of my project. Let's continue with the significance of my project. Here are the significance of my project. Firstly, my project will help people to monitor brightness inside their houses. Secondly, my project will also protect houses from excessive ultraviolet light. Thirdly, my project will prevent heat from entering houses, thus decrease the temperature inside the house. Also, my project will help maintain privacy and safety of people inside the house. Lastly, my project will help architects to lower their costs for house construction. My project is quite significant, isn't it? So let's continue with the literature review where I listed all the literatures that I referred to in completing my thesis proposal. Here are some of the literatures that I referred before conducting my project. From these literatures, I want to find the solar UV index level and how to calculate them, the early history of electrochromic materials, basic structure and elements in electrochromic glass, detailed process in fabricating electrochromic glass, calculation on conductivity, resistivity, voltage, current and resistance, and also the detailed information of motion sensors to be used in my project. Those literatures are really important for me to complete my proposal. So the next chapter is the methodology part. In the methodology, I listed all the components and materials that I needed to use to complete my project. Uh, the overall diagram of my project and the workflow chart in the, of the detailed process of my project. So let's continue. Here are the materials that I will be using to develop my project. I will be using electrochromic film which is the main component of my project. I will also use the PVC board and plasticine to make the prototype of my project. Next, the electrical components that I will be using to make my project is the Arduino Uno which is a microcontroller, the Node MCU which connects to the Arduino through Wi-Fi, the jumper wires, ultraviolet sensor which detects ultraviolet light and also PIR motion sensor which detects movement. Next, I will be using solar panel as a power source solar charge controller to control voltage from solar panel, pyranometer to measure solar radiation, multimeter to measure current and voltage, LCD display to display information, and thermocouple to measure the temperature of surrounding. Also, I will be using two softwares for my project. Firstly, the Blink Apps which is an application in the smartphone and also Arduino IDE which is a software for the Arduino Uno. A more detailed process of the system will be explained in the workflow chart after this slide. The workflow chart will explain two separate processes, which are the UV sensor and the PIR sensor. We will start with the PIR sensor. Firstly, the PIR sensor will be attached to the electrochromic film. Then, the PIR sensor will detect motion. If there is any motion, the PIR sensor will send signal to the Arduino Uno. Then, the Arduino Uno will receive signal and process data. The Arduino sends signal to the LCD display and the LCD display will show notification to the user. Next is the UV sensor. Firstly, the UV sensor will be attached to the electrochromic film. 
the UV sensor will detect light to measure UV index. If the UV index is more than 6, the UV sensor will send signal to Arduino Uno. The Arduino Uno will receive signal and process data. Then, the Arduino will send the data to Blink apps by Node MCU through Wi-Fi network. So, the Blink X will show intensity of UV light to the user. So, I finished explaining about the methodology of my project. So, let's continue with the expected result or outcome of my project. This diagram shows the expected result of the overall process of my electrochromic film device project. Let me explain the diagram just now. Imagine the weather was so hot. In the afternoon, the sky is just above your head. A man is sitting beside his window because he needs air. His house is too hot to handle. So, if my project succeeds, he would just use his smartphone and slide uh, to change the properties of his electrochromic field to change from transparent to opaque so that less sunlight can enter his house. When less sunlight enter his house, his house would be much cooler. So, that is the whole process of my project. Uh, so, let's continue with the work planning of my project. The first part of the work planning is the Gantt chart of the Electrochromic Film Project. This chart functions as a guide that assists me in keeping up with the timeline so that my work can be completed based on schedule. Noted that the TC's proposal submission was postponed to July due to the COVID-19 pandemic that happened globally. The rest of the activity is followed as in the table given. So, in the work planning just now, I have just shown you the Gantt chart and the milestone of my project. The Gantt chart and milestone shows the important due dates and the schedule that I need to follow in order for me to complete my final project successfully. It really helps me. So, let's continue with the references, which is the final chapter of my project. These are all the lists of references that I referred to in. With the references done, I've completed presenting all of my thesis proposal presentation. Thank you for lending your eyes to see my video presentation. Thank you for lending your ears to hear my points in my presentation. Thank you very much. If you, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Thank you. 